Mass Gang, we in here. Let's talk about this rumor of Ricochet going to AEW. This isn't a new rumor, but we're starting to see a little bit more smoke where the fire is. Let's talk about the vignette that we've seen on AEW Collision. Guys running, some type of computer message pops up, shows a guy running, he's jumping into some portal, looks like Doctor Strange. Um, and then you see flashing lights, you see some guy he's wearing something similar to things that I've seen Ricochet wear before. Very exciting stuff. Um, the vignette, just my personal opinion, the vignette wasn't that great. Wasn't that great? And no, 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 no. Before you guys even go there, no, I'm not hating on AEW. No, I'm not. I'm just saying the vignette, for one, was confusing. I'm going to tell you why, why it's confusing. Specifically, if the vignette is actually for Ricochet, I'm going to tell you why it's confusing. I kind of don't understand the use of what looks like some type of stock image video, a random guy running down a tunnel and jumping through a portal and then they're flashing to a whole nother guy. I understand if they want to keep it secretive, don't want to give away who it is. But if that's Ricochet and they did that, they should have thought of a little bit something else to do. Maybe even cut that part out altogether. But yeah, I wasn't a big fan of Vinny. I thought the vignette was stupid. If it was for Ricochet, we're off to a bad start. Let's get that turned around. Um, Ricochet, AEW. Like I said, it's not a brand new rumor. This rumor has been out since people found out that his contract was about to expire. And apparently since it appeared Braun Breaker had Ricochet written off a of TV, written off a of show, written out of WWE. Even though they said that he's out indefinitely, I didn't think that they were saying that he was definitely out. But maybe that's the case and maybe he is AEW bound. Maybe he is about to be all elite. Um, like I said, this room has been around a minute. Will Ospreay has done interviews talking about the legend of Ricochet, the innovation of Ricochet, the things that he and Ricochet have done for the sport of professional wrestling. And, um, they were telegraphing it. It was one-sided at first. Yeah, AEW want Ricochet. Let's talk. Let's talk about it for a minute. AEW and Ricochet fit like a perfect glove on a hand. He's a high flyer. He's a spot guy, and a company full of spot guys. And not only is he a spot guy in a company full of spot guys, he is one of the innovators of being a spot guy. So let's not even sweep that under a rug. Ricochet very well is the perfect person for AEW. Now, I have my reservations. I have my reservations. What is Ricochet going to do once he's in AEW? He's going to come in to all the fanfare in the world. He's going to hype a match with Will Ospreay. He's going to have an epic Match with Will Ospreay, they're going to jump off of shit. They're going to do all kinds of cool things. But then what happens to Ricochet? Does Ricochet return to the same thing that he was in WWE? A guy that can't cut promos, who can only manage to win the Speed Championship. Not talking big shit about Ricochet. I'm just saying, that's been my interpretation of Ricochet for years. Ricochet, million dollar moves. Tencent mouthpiece. That's what always held Ricochet back to me. Ricochet has a look. Ricochet is amazing in the ring. I'll never forget when Ricochet ran, did a frontwards flip out of the ring and landed on his feet just to be in the face of the maligned Velveteen Dream. I'll never forget him doing that. That's the type of shit Ricochet brings to the table. 
but when you put a microphone on in ricochet's hands and say hey ricochet cut me an epic ass promo ricochet can't do it he sounds like the little engine that could you guys want to put me down but you know what every time you knock me down i'm right back up i'm ricochet that's what you hear from a guy like ricochet you don't hear anything scathing and now yeah you could say oh yeah well ricochet if he was a hill then he'd be cutting promos or wwe they never gave ricochet a chance to to cut promos like that well you know what i'm the type of person that believes you gotta seize the freaking opportunity ricochet had been there for years he had hella good matches the guy just didn't seize the opportunity he just didn't seize it man and I'm telling you right now, unless you're a special attraction wrestler like Brock Lesnar or like somebody like that or like a character like, you know, the guys from the Y6 or like something like that, you not having a mouthpiece is going to be death in a wrestling ring. In AEW, you can get away with it for a second, but eventually it all comes back to how talented you are with that microphone in your hand. That's what I truly believe. Now, Ricochet had a lot to say during NXT Heat Wave. He, um, he gave props to the show. He, he was talking about how great EO Sky was. And he was saying that Sol Ruka and Kehlani Jordan reminded him of he and Will Ospreay. Um, I don't necessarily know what he's referring to by saying that. Now, don't get me wrong. So Ruka and Kalani Jordan, they had a hell of a good match. But, yeah, I don't know about all that, Ricochet. I felt like you were just kind of fishing for a reason to say the name Will Ospreay to keep it on everyone's conscience that, hey, I might be showing up in AEW. That's just, that's just how I think of it, man. Um... So guys, tell me, what do you guys think Ricochet is going to do in AEW? Is he going to come in with a bang and then slowly fizzle out like so many others before him that went from WWE to AEW? Or is he actually going to get the sustained success that WWE never gave? Let us know in the comments below. Like, subscribe. Hit that bell, turn on notifications, and we'll catch you next time. This is Crimson Mass Pro Wrestling. I'm MFGDs, and we'll see you out of here.